hunters of slithering things in the hours before dawn, former milkmaids and magistrates, come before me and bow, for I am Delilah, your queen. All hail Delilah, the moon in the sky and the mist lying over the lake like a blanket. Amelia, dear, if Brianna hears you and her mood is off, you're going to lose an eye making fun like that. She's only having fun, Francesca. And Brianna's too busy with the communion to be bothered. She's got her mind on the sisters of the oracular order. Yes, because otherwise the Abbey will see us all blackened by fire. Now stop with this nonsense. <laughs> She wanted to raise the blood briar, but cannot. <sighs> After trying to make gravehounds for weeks, she gave up. You should have seen the twisted things she made. All snouts and teeth and tails. That's just the way it is, dear Parmelia. Delilah wears the outsider's mark, and some of what she can do flows down to us. It doesn't seem fair. Think about working your fingers raw, weaving nets, or raising cows to slaughter. Any of the gifts we receive is better than living under the boot. That's true and fine. A wise way to look at things. But it won't help Lucinda rise any higher in Delilah's favor.
something elaborate just before Delilah came to Karnak. I wanted to know what it was. I'm teasing Tamina. I read it too. Do you think Delilah really could have done that? I've heard the same stories about Paolo the Howler. What you've heard about Paolo is not the same. He's a street orphan, full of tricks. But I have faith Delilah could do such a thing. Coming back? It doesn't seem possible. That's all. My dear Orlando, some people see doors where you and I only see walls. That way drove you mad, and how glad you were to take it down. To Jindosh? I'm told he's a gibbering idiot now. I don't know, Delilah. Forgive me. No, my dear. It's a loss. But I doubt he had anything more to give us. Sokolov was taken away as well. Who would want that ancient fool? Never mind. How goes the communion? I am hungry to whisper into the ears of the oracular sisters. My influence grows. Last night, I walked through a dream with one of them, and we drank from a fountain in the town where she was born. Vice Overseer Burns' suspicions were right. won't affect things. No. He continued to tinker with the lenses. Thicker, thinner, more opaque. There were times for to watch. I still had the old lenses and cast-off parts piled in my workshop, but Jindosh finished some time ago. The rest is up to me, learning to use the machine. The tricky thing, touching the void through such a device. Blood and biscuits. I look forward to using it myself once you're ready. Will you visit soon? Perhaps. Dunwall Tower is mostly in hand. The High Overseer won't be a problem anymore. And there's the matter of my own project. I grow more excited with each brushstroke. When I come to Karnaka, we'll drink an ocean of good wine and stay tight as a boiled owl. I look forward to it. For now, I need your eyes on the Duke. At least until we have the sisters under control. There's no one else I trust. I'll reach out to you again on the morrow. Farewell. Goodbye, Delilah, my Empress. ask Brianna to make an effigy of me. You mean like this tangle of skin and bones representing one of the Dunderheads from the Oracular Order? Yes. I'd keep it in my chambers. Next you have bizarre taste, my dear Clarissa. Um, I wouldn't want to see words, myself like that. Six? I'd rather have my portrait Three. painted by Delilah. There's a quality to Brianna's style I prefer. Touched by something from deep down in the mud where there's no light. The endless womb and the cold, dead grave. Both the same. 
but Brianna's effigy has let her reach into the mind, into the heart. Wouldn't you be afraid she'd influence your dreams? Like she's going to do to the Sisters of the Abbey? That's part of the thrill, sister. Bryce, that's the part I want. <laughs> Jindosh was insane. How does this even work? Sabotage Ashworth's communion device, she'll be powerless. Who is this man, Karen Jindosh? And what power does he hold over Brianna? Are they lovers? Perhaps, but that wouldn't give him any power over Brianna. Jindosh is an ally, an agent of the Duke, gifted in the ways of natural philosophy. Together, they've built something that can pierce the void itself. I've never seen Brianna work with machines. She's always relied on precious bones and ivory, carved in a room with no light, painted with ash and moon's blood. Not lenses and silver cogs, covered in stinking grease. This is a special endeavor, important to Delilah. You think no one can harm us, but the Overseers and the Sisters of the Oracular Order are fanatics dedicated to stopping us from living the lives we want. So why use their own machinery? These music boxes, even when torn apart, they'll bring us bad luck. I don't like it. Jindosh and Brianna know what they're doing. Their collaboration is unusual, but it pleases Delilah, and it's Brianna's obsession. So it is then. Let's hope that cursed mechanism doesn't pull us all into the void. Something crafted by apostate hands. 
I sustain from the fingernails long, fine fingernails. Not blood, no, not wine either. It is the ink from the squid. A squid caught in the cold, cold waters above the world. The western corner of Tinga, by sailors from the Gone. Caught in a long line of red silk, drawn up from the dark waters of the No, not you, sir. Not you, sir, though. But I see the long, lovely hands again, stained by the ink, raising the knife out of a box made of color pink. I cannot see what is contained within, but the King of Morning is there, in the room with the others, while his queen sleeps in their bed. That set of lenses could be switched with the lenses in the device. Looks like Karen Jindosh made these alternate lenses for Ashworth's device. Now I can use them to sabotage it.
now to activate it and sever Ashworth's connection to the void. All that's left to do is hit the switch, and Ashworth should be powerless. things I could do. The touch of the void. The Lila. It was everything I had. Please, no. I'm no threat to you now. To anyone. As if you could ever hide your face from me, Royal Protector. I see you there, back in the city that spawned you. It's done. Brianna Ashworth is no longer a witch. You villain! You don't even know what you've done! A great bloom wilts and fades from the world. This is only the start. You've pissed all over everything, but you'll pay for it. Oh, Brianna. I don't believe we will speak again. The thought of seeing you reduced to such a pale, sad thing. It's too much to bear. I hate you for this, Corvo Atano. I wonder, if you didn't have hate, Delilah, what would you have? I meant nothing to my fine family. Beyond an advantageous marriage and years of childbearing. They promised me to a man three times my age who wheezed on about our wedding night. But a curious thing happened on the way to the altar, Delilah. From the first time I slipped out of the manor in the dead of night, there was no returning to my cage. Looking at the stars and drinking wine on a rooftop, I was free. Instead of seeing the overseers for marriage, I visited my father's banker and raced away from my old life toward Delilah. Those were the coven's glory days. <laughs> 